Hello, in this video we are going to talk about I2C communication which is mostly used inside the electronic board or inside uh, two electronics board which are placed uh, nearby each other. In this particular example we will use the sensor which uh, measures temperature, pressure and humidity BME 280 and connect it with ESP32 via I2C communication and all this will be done of course inside ESP IDF environment as always in order to connect the, uh, the devices we connect the V-in of the sensor to 3 volts of the ESP32 connect the ground and uh, data and clock uh, positions are connected to uh, GPO number 22 and 21. How did we know the exact position of this board? We look on the following chart and here you see GPIO 22 and GPIO 21 which is related to, uh, uh, to SCL and SDA. After we have uh, connected the devices, I want to tell you maybe the most uh, important uh, sentence of this video. Um, don't just buy a sensor according to the sensor performance choose the sensor according to the software package that you have for this sensor and what exactly do i mean here we i I've, we found a detailed explanation for this sensor bma B, bme 280 and its exact implementation inside esp idf environment and uh, the following software if you don't have the appropriate software for the appropriate environment that you are using don't buy this sensor okay so after saying that we will examine the software package that we are using because writing all those things about by yourself you will shortly see it's uh, crazy uh, this is a detailed exp example inside esp tutorials com which explain how you can connect ESP32 for, via I2C with the, the sensor and uh, publish it uh, via MQTT. Uh, we here only interested in I2C protocol and deleted all the parts regarding the MQTT, Wi-Fi and so on. In this a pretty good and detailed explanation of connection example different parts different parts of this example you you have a download code here uh, which brings you to this page here you can see the original code that we have used uh, which is saved in ESP tutorials and this code enables you to perform I2C connection and also Wi-Fi and MQTT connection Wi-Fi and QT MQTT connection in our uh, example were deleted also here inside ESP tutorials you can see the supplementary files this one B the C file and this one the header file all those files as always you can find in Sims IoT uh, devices repository if you will look on the repositories here okay here and uh, uh, inside the repository you can see the relevant files which we changed simplified and put it in the same repository our main file is uh, proj5 the main ESP IDF file those two files we downloaded from here here and 
here and because in order to simplify things we put those files inside the same uh, main directory with proj5 we have to had to update the cmake list text file inside the main uh, directory here <coughs> the main change is this edition you see uh, here you have to specify the c files that you are using we are using proj5 naturally because uh, this is our main file and we also using this file so the cmake list file inside the main directory of our project uh, was uh, modified Any, anyway we copy this file the simplified version of the, the example to our code editor here you also have the references um, to the tutorial to the original example and to the place of the BME 280 files from the supplier I will uh, um, run it this file is intended to connect the sensor to ESP32 and show the temperature that the sensor is feeling on the screen and all this data will be transformed via I square C okay uh, here you see every second we print the temperature that the sensor is feeling I will stop it uh, okay how, how does this file uh, works here we have the includes which I reduced and removed uh, the includes regarding the Wi-Fi and MQTT uh, here you have the definition of the pin connection that we actually connected and we talked in the beginning of the video why uh, those numbers are connected this is an init function which initialize our I square C communication in order to do so we initial initialize our I square C config with the pins and enable the pull-ups in order to simplify the electrical chart you see here uh, we connect it directly in many I square C charts you will see uh, a pull-up uh, connection and but here we do it by software and here we are uh, enabling the pull up for those pins and to simplify the hardware connection we configure and install the i square c communication and he here is the tricky part that we talked in this video those are the packages that we use that were downloaded from the vendor and we are not writing it by, by ourselves this is a specific function written for the BME 280 in order to write it writes that the standard functions of ESPIDF is used but you see the addresses are ap applied and adjusted to the specific device and also the read functions that we got from the vendor with the same, exactly the same logic with the standard ASP function but there is addresses regarding and adjusted to the device is used also the delay function this enables us to run the publisher task which is based on uh, a BME 280 vendors library and in this library they have a special structure this one which is specifically uh, was constructed for this sensor which connects the write read and delay functions that we talked earlier which also specifically designed for this sensor and we are downloaded from the vendor we didn't write them and here he initialized and sets the parameters according to the specific function used by the vendor's uh, header file and the C file and then we run the loop only in case that our reading and communication was success 
In the beginning here, you see we first printed this uh, variable, I added it here, in order just to see that the communication was successful. It wasn't successful in the beginning and I have to adjust a few things. And uh, after we understood that it is successful, we are entering this loop. We are reading the pressure, temperature and, uh, and humidity. And, sorry, and here we are building the temperature string. In our example, in order to simplify, we don't show all those things. Uh, we only show the temperature, but uh, you can see, you can show all other things. So we just print the temperature variable here. And this is what you can see on the screen. So this means that the temperature reading was successful. The I2C con connection worked and we can receive and print the data. Um, I didn't uh, erase all the uh, all, all these defenses uh, uh, from the original example just for you to connect those functions for, for with the original functions that they are not changed much except maybe this thing. And uh, just summarize, inside the main application, we initia initialize the memory, this thing here, initialize the I2C parameters that we talked in the beginning, and then run the infinite loop, publish a task, this task, which is running infinitely, this one. And that's all, and uh, thank you.